Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Kingdom Dinobot. And this decal set includes one decal sheet on foil backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Dinobot, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, I think Dinobot looks great and very screen accurate. Taking a closer look at the figure, absolutely love his head sculpt. I like the black there on the brow and the black lines on the helmet. The blue face looks awesome with those red eyes. The chest, it's all dino skin until you get the blue and gold detailing there on the side. The arms, that's pretty much all scales down here on the waist he's got a gold crotch piece some orange on the thighs orange for the calves and of course the feet are scaly dinosaur skin as well the weapons are a little plain there's nothing really here on the inside of his spinning shield the sword doesn't look too bad but i wish it was chrome like in the show he's also got the white dinobot eyes or faux dinobot eyes there on the chest so all in all, a very screen accurate looking Dinobot, and I'm really curious to see what Toy Hex does for him. So there you go guys, Dinobot before and after. Toy Hex really enhances the looks of Dinobot. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting here with the helmet, he gets these brand new orange metallic decals up here on the horns and there on the side, and the side ones actually wrap all the way around that's one long decal easiest way to apply that just pop the head off and apply there's also new gold decals right here underneath the neck there on the back here on the front or on the sides and there on the front dynamite also gets brand new eyes you have a couple different options you have the red eyes that i choose or you have green eyes that kind of show his laser powers now I like the red ones because if you look real close, if the light will catch it, you can see the center of the eye is a lighter shade of red, which kind of shows the pupils just like the television show. I really think that's cool. He also gets new black decals right there in the vents on the helmet, and I, I really like the looks of that. Also, he gets gold decals that go right along the crest. So as I said, I really like the looks of the helmet. On the shoulders, he also gets new metallic orange decals with gold trim. Down here on the torso or the sides, he gets new decals that are a dark shiny blue with scales. You do have options. There is a lighter blue, but I went with the scaly and two reasons. One, I like that dark blue takes away from the face. So it's not the same color scheme there. And underneath the arm here on the back, you also get those dark blue scaly decals right there. There are no options for some reason. So I pick those because they match that. Moving on down to the waist area, drop the sword. You've got new decals right here on what I like to call the underwear area and new decal right there below the crotch. Moving on down the legs, on the inside of the legs, you get black decals that go all inside the inner thigh. I like that. It kind of makes it look like a shadow. There's also blue decals that go inside these little holes on both sides. Down here on the feet, gets new metallic orange decals right there and gold decal right there above the ankle. On the weapons, he does get these chrome purple decals that... It looks good if it catches the light, 
but the collar matches so well you can barely see them. And also on his shield that I just dropped, there are new red decals that go on the tips. Now those are not shown on the sticker map on toyhex.com, but I believe these are sticker number 15. It's the only red stickers on the sheet. That's where they go. Now, if you want a little bit of a pointer how to get those in, you can't really grab the edge of the sticker and place it inside because since it is in that little circle, circular area there, if I can get that to focus, it's harder to get in. So what I did is I put the sticker deep down on my tweezers. So I was able to lay the tweezers in like so. And then I applied the pressure and got them in. And it actually looks pretty good. Now, another thing I want to stress with this decal set is to make sure you have a heat source to help get those decals applied because a lot of these decals go on curved areas and the heat source helps the decal form to where it needs to stick. So there you go, guys. Dinobot after. Toy Hacks really surprised me with their decal set for War for Cybertron Kingdom Dinobot. Because just like some of their other Kingdom sets, I really didn't think Dinobot needed decals. But these metallic orange decals really make this figure pop now, and I think give him just a little bit more personality. I also really like the addition of the brighter blue and the decals there on the inside of the legs to really give him a better color scheme. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube. And a big shout out to all my current channel members. It's support like yours that keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!